Good kitten internet, I'm back. Uh, it's actually slightly later than I had said, it's not by much. Um, you can't tell because of the way I have lighting set up right now, but it's actually 11.03 uh, in the morning. Um, and it's actually a bright, beautiful day outside. I'll be going walking after this recording. Um, it's a bit longer than I had said though, it's been about a half an hour. And the reason why is that as I was ending last video, I started having a panic attack. Uh, oh, my mental health is terrible. Um, I'm okay right now. I had something to eat. I made sure I cuddled with this in a bit. I have some water. Water. And I should be ready to go for the next adventure. So let's get right to it. Yes, Isin. Why don't you come up on my lap? I told you, my lap's okay for you. You can totally come up on my lap, kitty cat. So, this is Grand Seal, although an event happens pretty quickly. Strange animal. Really? Oh no. Oh no. I just realized because of the sprite swaps, I have no idea what this is. This might be fairly offensive. I'm gonna go with fairly offensive. I'll go see the bird. You tell the king about it. Oh no, it actually is the correct sprite. Huh. I was not expecting that to work. Okay. Oh, Bowie, good timing. There's a strange animal in town. My voice is deep, you can tell. It's very exciting. Now at this point, I can go investigate people's houses, and if I remember correctly, this is uh, the only time in the game that I can hit a certain thing. So I'm actually going to do a lot of investigation of people's houses. There's nothing up here. Up to lunch. Yeah, I can't go in there, but I can hit this. That's what it was. That's an angel wing. It's not that great. Papa's out now. He ran outside to see the bird. Gonna move anywhere other than in front of the bookshelf, please? Thank you. Agriculture. It's a dead end. I can't resist not humming. Despotism? Magazine, Hunter's Life. So... So, weird thing. Grand Seal is a despotism because the king doesn't have any like royal blood or anything. Uh, actually, the king, as you would know if you had played the guiding games, is actually a thief from another game. Uh, so, if you were, if you were familiar with Shining Force 2, that means the king is effectively the same class as Slade. Puts things in a bit of a different context. Okay, I think that's all of the items I can go loot everywhere. And after using up a couple of healing items, I certainly appreciate getting some more. You know, I never leave my shop. I didn't know birds like this existed. What a big bird! Big bird. Oh, I should have timed that where I had a picture of big bird. father was also very curious. He must be indigenous to the mainland. I think he is, actually. Hmm, he's shining. Maybe he'll be a force for good? Oh, I... That was terrible. I can't see, I can't see! Hey, why don't you touch it? Might be a stuffed animal that's flying. <sighs> Grand Seal citizenry are so dumb! Big, I want to touch him. Run. Oops. Or excuse me. Oops. Ha ha, you missed. Let me try. Wow, he's fast. Hey, he's over there. Okay, my turn. Gosh, he's quick. Stop. Stop this. Amazing, he speaks. Of course I do. This is how you greet strangers. Shut up, bird. 
How barbaric. Hmm, quote of this episode. Should it be Shut Up Bird? I think it's going to be Shut Up Bird. I didn't know humans were so impolite. What? Those boys are about to hit the bird. It's a narrator. I think this is like... There's only a few bits of narration in this game. Stop! What do you think you're doing? Silly minister. Thinking he controls the town? He doesn't. Sir Ashtel does, obviously. I'm sorry, I must apologize for their actions. Welcome to Grand Seal. I'm the minister. We just settled here. We're strangers here. Haha, <laughs> you're right. You are very strange, because you're... human... asterisk. I think all of these townspeople are human. But I'm happy to meet a man like you. know that. He hasn't actually said who he is yet. Peter is, in the normal Shining Force game, the most overpowered character in the game. Pretty much nobody comes close. And the reason why is that every character in the game usually has a specialty in one stat. Peter has a specialty in every stat, other than MP, because he doesn't cast. I read that a phoenix serves a god! Oh, uh, Vulcanon, that's what you're talking about. Luke calls him a god. Hey, hint, anybody in all caps is a character. Psst. The great being who created the Earth? Oh, this is the happiest day of my life! Please let me go with you and meet Vulcan Han. Uh, okay. To tell you the truth, I hurt my wing during this trip. I stopped by here to ask for help. I don't want to trouble you. Oh, don't worry. These lads love trouble. Hop, hop, pip, 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 pip. Bowie! Why didn't you tell me you were here? Did you listen to our conversation? You know, it's time for us to set out. We're going to Mount Volcano with Peter. It's in the Far East. Sir Astral! You said you're going to? No! Huh? Why not? came here just a year ago. We're still learning about this country. You're needed here. He's right. You must stay. Bowie, please take your party and go with Peter. Astral, do you agree? Yeah, I guess. I should probably make sure that the town is safe. Not go off on a fun journey. Then they're my companions. Hi, you seen. I'm Peter. I really appreciate your kindness. Well, Volcano's in the east. It's very far away. Oh, he's decides to take Peter with him. So, Peter is a guest in the party at this point. What that means is that you don't actually, um, control him. He still fights in battle. You just have no control over him. He is entirely AI controlled. So, for the purposes of this Nuzlocke, anything that Peter does while under AI control doesn't count. So, if Peter dies... He dies. I'm not going... I'm not going to count that as a death for purposes of Nuzlocke, because I don't really have control over it. If I was playing a regular game, I could actually get Peter to... I can manipulate his AI enough to make sure he lives. But, well, there's a reason why the only guest of the party is usually somebody who revives themselves, just saying. Although he doesn't have the ability to revive himself until after promotion, but whatever. Parting gift. You receive 100 gold coins. 100. That buys what? 
half of a healing seed. Uh, good luck, Bowie. Pip, pip, and all that. Find as many friends as you can on your journey with Peter. So, as I mentioned in the last episode, this is basically where the game starts opening up a bit. Because it may not seem like it, but you actually have random battles on the way. And the reason why it doesn't seem like it is that they totally seem like... This is your mom, by the way. This will be a good experience for you. Um, it doesn't seem like they're random battles. First off, let's go ahead and upgrade equipment. Right, wrong direction. The reason why they don't seem like random battles is that there's no apparent sign that they are random. They always happen in the same place. And... It feels like a regular ordinary battle. The trick is that the game actually doesn't decide if you're going into battle or not until you step on certain squares. Is it a deal? Oh, I sold Mithril. I should probably sell the rest of my Mithril, actually. So I don't have to carry it in my inventory. I'm kinda tempted to sell the Warrior Pride while I'm at it. Okay, let's try something really fast. I'm gonna do a save state because I don't know if it saves or not. Deals. Uh, where'd my other mithril go? Okay, good. It does. Okay. Good. That's good enough for me. Let me go reload the state. And actually sell the warrior pride. So basically what I'm doing is that I'm selling off my rare items, which will always stay in the deals section, so I don't have to keep them in my inventory, because it's really obnoxious to keep them in my inventory. The downside is that I'm going to have to buy them back, and I'm going to have to buy them back with interest, basically. On the plus side, I will have plenty of money by then, so I'm not too concerned. Alright, we have better weaponry, so I'm going to start upgrading people. knife, I think, is not an upgrade. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, shucks. Uh, is short rod an upgrade for anybody? I don't think it is. Nope. And I don't have arrows for sale yet. However, this is at the point of the game where I could get an archer. So the next town that I go to will actually normally have an archer in it. So my archer should be back to normal power level at this point. Unfortunately, well, I don't have anything else. Go ahead and sell Bowie's short sword. What's it? I've invented something. An explosive! You can blow up the rocks blocking the North Cave with it! Ah, uh, no, you can't. You'll be blown up too. Apparently, fuses aren't a thing. So, um. Let's go ahead and rebalance things. I don't want to use the cheerful bread yet. Peter's a tortoise. Crack! Why are you taunting me like this? Oh god, trying to keep Peter alive would be impossible. Peter has 11 hit points. Rack? What are you doing to me, Rack? Oh. Okay, so. Tortoises are monster class creatures. Um, there's three different, mo or four really, different monster class creatures and people in the game. Uh, Peter's normally one of them, but again, as I mentioned before, he's the deity, basically, and has bonuses to all of his stats, and flies, and fire resistance, and revives himself automatically, so Peter's special. Uh, Kiwi is usually the tort. Um, tortoises are kind of Shining Force 2's ghost, eh, not ghost, um, joke class? Yeah. 
And what I mean by joke class is that you're not supposed to really use them. However, they're actually not that bad, it's just that they have a really bad rap, and they're really hard to use. So, tortoises have extremely high defense. The idea is that you hit them, they take one point of damage. However, they have extremely low hit points, as you hit them with a spell, they're dead. I was not planning on using a tortoise if I had the ability to choose not to, because for a Nuzlocke, it's practically impossible. Um, Peter's gonna die. There's nothing I can do about that one. Let's get some healing items. Um, at this point, I could probably go with healing seeds rather than just healing herbs. I mean, they cost a lot more, but I do actually have party members that need the full heal. So, let's see. Bowie can use a healing seed. Kiwi with the healing seed, but I'm going to redistribute a little bit. Okay. Um, antidote will go to Kiwi, though, because I don't have any cure spells, which is a little strange, but... Well, poison might be a really nasty thing for us to deal with this game. Let's go ahead and save. Right, I have to... The priest wants a roof. Poor baby. So, keeping Peter alive while being AI controlled is probably impossible. I'm not even going to try. I wasn't planning on counting that to begin with before I even saw his class, as you could tell. I, I have not been playing ahead or anything like that. I don't do that for Nuzlocke's. To be fair, I guess this is my first Nuzlocke. Hey, you see my friends? So they're all playing hide and seek. There's no actual quest for this or anything, it's just they're playing hide and seek. So there's another one here. I'm hiding here, it's a secret. This house will be completed by the time you return. No, it won't, because I'll probably return early. Alright, so let's head out. We have the ability to enter a random battle back at the caves in Paramecia. In North Param uh, toward North Paramecia, so over here. Um, I'm just going to walk here. You notice it looks very familiar. If I walk forward one more step, I could trigger the random battle. Let's see if I was going to. I'm going to use a little bit of chronomancy just to show you. No. Not triggering the random battle this time. Is it just moving back and forth that triggers it? I don't remember what the actual trigger is to make the random battle happen, or like resetting whether you're going to get a random battle or not. It might even be I need to complete a later on battle, but that is definitely a completely random battle location, as is the next location. It is technically possible to avoid, but it's extremely unlikely. Huh, there's this strange water thing here with a bunch of rocks. I wonder if that will be useful later. I believe here is where I trigger the next random battle. It's out of curiosity, I want to see if I can avoid it. Nope, that one's not random. That one's actually required. So, uh, I've got oozes, goblins, and these dicks. So, they have blaze too, and they also have really high attack. I think that's the only new enemy in this case. That's the only new enemy. And over here is my objective. That is the town of Riddle, I want to say. So I'm going to try to blow through this battle, and I'm tending to stop before the next battle. Unfortunately, my party is still filled with squishies. So I am going to be hovering in forest. really concerned about the vampire bats. I don't have good healing. I mean, you don't normally have good healing at this part of the game anyway, but I'm really squishy on top of it. And to be fair, the vampire bats are probably just gonna go after Peter. Because, well, Peter's even squishier. Vampire bats are also the reason for the uh, diagonal formation. 
because, well, they can just hit everybody in a cross. Oh, I have no idea how Peter Kusei is going to react to being a monster. Great. Yeah, he's using Bowie as a lore is not that bad of an idea. Oh yeah, it is. He's too far away. Dang it, me. I should have thought of that cunning plan through, shouldn't I? Let's go ahead and make Sarah a bigger target, hopefully. This is dangerous. I have too many things going on right now. Your movement's five, isn't it? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Those are not safe places. That's a safe place, though. Attacking okay. Bowie, that's fine, I guess. Oof, twelve. I really need to get a protect milk on Bowie. Okay. Bowie does a lot of damage, but he's a glass cannon. Which is most unfortunate in a game with like this. And stab it to death with Sarah. It's not ideal. Because Sarah's only getting 14 XP from the ooze, but. I can't let that live very long. There's too many other enemies right now. I'm not planning on grinding on this battle for reference. I don't like this battle to grind on. Okay. More range. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. At the moment, you can't hit anybody as long as I don't move closer. Yeah, that's fine. No one Bowie. That should be more than enough. Alright, now I'm in range for everybody. And by everybody, I mean these two. Ooh, nice dodge. A plus, Sarah. Good job. Unfortunately, the goblin's on a high defense place. The light grass is also terrain effect 30. It just has better movement for most things. I don't want Bowie to get attacked by a bow. Bowie, you're just gonna hang down there for a bit. Alright, what else is nearby? I'm fine for now. Let's go ahead and loop around. I don't think this will kill it. No, yeah, didn't think so. It's on a high terrain effect, and they have decently nice. Um, kind of want one of the level tens to kill it instead of me. Uh, you know what? We're only one level off of each other. Just die. Goblins aren't really great XP anymore, so I'm not as concerned. Peter, let's go! 
This is the goofiest looking attack ever, and it's awesome. Ooh, that's actually fairly high damage for Kiwi at this point. I need to look at his stats again. Attack 18, attack 24. Attack 23, attack 15. Is it 18? Yeah, real Kiwi has a higher attack. Good job, game. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go stab the goblin. Ooh, or not. Freeze it out. damage to it? Yeah. Let's just kill it. Oh, damn it. That might have been a mistake. Yep. Did I just die as a result of that? <sighs> oh, that was a bad mistake. Ooh, okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I lose my only mage. Jester, why did you go earlier? Jester leveled up at least. Eh, decent level up. Okay with this. Hmm, Peter will be sitting around not doing much for a bit. Uh, it's time to spread out a little bit. So I'm getting in range of the evil thing. The vampire bat. going to stay there. Okay, I haven't woken up the vampire bat yet, so this is fine. I'm gonna heal first before I move out, so I'm going to be a little bit cautious. It's not too surprising. I'm frequently cautious in this game, even without this being a Nesla. Alright, that should be a full heal, or at least close to... Usually it's 15? Yeah. For some reason, healing goes down after promotion. I'm not entirely sure why. You awake yet? Yeah, you are. So what I'm trying to do is lure out the archer. Archers are still very deadly. Alright, Archer's now in range of Sarah. You're moving seven a little bit? Six. Four, five, six. Yeah, if Sarah moved over one more square, she'd be in range of the Vampire Bat also. This is why I'm trying to lure them out like this. I predict Peter will be the cause of my death at least once. Or at least anguish, maybe not death. I don't want Bowie to get any closer. No, I'm too close to the vampire bat. move too closer to me. I think that means that I'm now in range. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus one, plus two. I'm not actually in range. I am one square off of range. Uh, maybe I should have just hunted that out a little bit faster. Oh, 
That's the highest hit points in my party. Yeah, I'm Bowie. Sarah does? Ugh, this is such a weird group. Okay. I'm thinking about taunting out the vampire bat. Almost rather have Peter taunting. Yeah, Peter's taunting out the vampire bat. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that one. Basically, the way you have to get Peter to live is to effectively rush everything. I have angel wings. I don't like doing this. This is probably a bad idea, but I don't want the hunter goblin to hit. Oh, no, this was a terrible idea. Just on me. Hunter goblin hasn't gone yet, and I'm in range of both of them. I'm an idiot. Um. Do I just Angel Wing right now? I can't reach the Hunter Goblin with Sarah. Yep, I'm gonna be cautious. I know, that kinda stinks, I'm sorry. But, nope, that was a mistake on my part. I think I can buy them at this point, can't I? Let's do that again. I'm sorry, people. This is gonna be another hour-long video, isn't it? Also, I love how Bowie actually moves faster than the camera. Auto trigger because the battle's already started. Okay, I need to do this again. That was not me trying to run away to gain XP, I'm sorry. That was entirely my fault. I think that puts me in range for use. I'm gonna try to do this slightly faster. But not risky. We'll see how well this works. So how are you all? I know it's been a while since we've actually talked much because I've been super busy and having mental freakouts and so on. Um I can take off my glasses because the reflection bothers me in the video. Let's see. Not in range yet, so of the vampire bat, so I don't have to be in good formation. Peter's gonna peter things up as usual. Okay, your range is five, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can hit here. Good reason. Could just attack right now. Yeah, let's just do that. They're not worth that much XP. I'd rather get rid of them fast. I'm um, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. That's not that great of an option now that I think about it. It's not horrible. It's just not great. Um, can you reach me? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you can reach if I move there, like I was planning on. Your movement's also five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, nope, I'm not moving there. Let's not make the same mistake twice in a row, thanks. I don't want to be too far into the forest because for some reason Kiwi's movement's being affected in ways that it shouldn't. Here should be fine. Four XP, yeah, they're not worth enough XP anymore. Which is sad, because they still do a lot of damage. Good. Watcher's move. Yep, that's kind of what I expected, huh? Seven's not that bad. I can deal with seven. Is in, finish it off, please. Thunk. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is this a battle that one of them actually has a defense ring on? Just just gonna take a hit. Ah! Ow! That was not supposed to happen. Okay. As I was saying, I think this is the battle that one of them actually has a ring. Isn't it you? No. I guess not. Well, you gonna die. You know, that puts Bowie in archery range, unfortunately, but... I have to make sure this thing dies fast. If it gets a double attack, I'm dead. Die. Level up to 12. Ooh. Boost? Boost on a mage! Boost this early, that is awesome! Uh, you're moving the hell back. How far back do you need to move? Right, one, two, three, four, five. You're barely in range. You can just move back one. Boost. This could... That... That changes a lot of things, actually. Um, I might need to start exploiting boost. Getting it this early. Wow. So, for those of you that are less familiar with Shining Force 2, boost is a spell that increases agility and defense by, I want to say it's 25%? It's either 25 or 50, I don't remember which now. Yep, this is going to hurt quite a bit, but I can't do anything about it. This is only one attack. Um... But normally, you don't get it until you get, uh, Karna, which is basically at the halfway point of the game. Uh, it's... there's no reason... it's not overpowered at lower levels or anything, because it's still a percentage of your own defense. If anything, it might actually be kind of useless, but... He's attacking! Go, Kiwi! I mean, Peter! Um... But the fact that I can cast it this early means a lot. Because it means I can actually have good defense on Bowie. That's why it means a lot to me. Observe. Also, it's a really good way of leveling up. It's cheap, too. Not used to seeing numbers this low for boost. <laughs> yeah, Peter's defense increased by 10, and that was the highest. Um, we'll take a look at Peter in a moment. So, his defense increased by 10, so it was 27. Then it went up to 37. That would be less than half, but it's a third, I guess? Oh, a third would be 30. Yeah, I'm still not sure how the formula works, but I know there's some randomness involved, so it might actually be a third and just happen to roll high. So yeah, boost is a really nice spell. But it doesn't last very long is the problem. But it's really good for my strategy of taunting people out. And so it's the only way I can do to preemptively not die. Like, to be honest, I'm squishy. Move the other one, and then Bowie's the only other one I'm gonna do at this point. I'm getting them for a second healer, but I wasn't expecting a second healer. That would be really nice luck. So Jaha's probably going to be boosting for a long time now. This is Jaha's new role, basically. And so, the spell won't have an effect if you're already boosted, which is unfortunate, because you can't reset the duration of boost. Boost lasts two to three rounds, I want to say. Is 
still trying to chomp the two of them. And I woke up the vampire bat. Or I should say, Peter woke up the vampire bat. You know what, if Peter dies for the vampire bat, then Peter dies from the vampire bat. I don't care that much. Wait, Peter would actually live through a vampire bat attack. He's got 11 hit points. Um, Blaze 2 does 10. So he's got a chance at living. What's your current defense? 17? Yeah, you could actually take a hit. Heal the bird brain. And yes, I am still very heavy on healing. He levels up. HP and MP? That's it? I mean, don't get me wrong, MP is very important for a healer, but... Ugh. That was a terrible level. I wonder if I'm actually dealing with a drought on leveling. Okay, boost is about to return to normal. Which unfortunately means that... Yep. Your movement is five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can easily hit either of them. Kiwi? Kiwi dead? Nope. Kiwi's hit by nine. Okay. I could heal him. No, I can't. See, this is why I didn't try to keep Kiwi alive, because I don't control him. Oh, never mind. That one. If you were within range of my heal, I could actually heal him. I dealt two to the damn vampire bat. And now boost has expired. He's dead. <sighs> Go after the goobla again. Need to slouch a bit to be in the camera view. I could tilt the camera, but I don't want to touch it. So what I was planning on doing was boosting again. about both the goblin and the vampire bat. The vampire bat's gonna go after Kiwi. Um, so the way the AI works, they'll always, always take a kill if they can. Like that. He would have to dodge. Nope. Again. Or, sorry, Peter. Damn it, I keep doing that. Um, I'm not counting Peter as a guest for this, because that would be dumb. Stab in the face. get to go before yes okay um, let's go here as much as i'm afraid of that vampire bat i'm actually more afraid of the goblin right now because the goblin goes next or very soon who's this expired i'm still not in range to do jack squad damn it concern is that I can get double hit. I'm fine. Okay. Meow. Alright. Is 
I've been injured. Meow. He assumes Pride is injured because I'm not paying attention to him. Uh, you don't really count as being injured. Sarah's injured, but I can't reach Sarah. I could. But then I'm causing... Yeah, no. might be a mistake. Then I don't think it was a mistake. I think that was the correct choice. Vampire Bat killed. 30 XP because they're not worth that much experience for reasons. Uh, don't understand some things in this game. Okay. I can group up again. So this is not that risky. Unless the goblin goes again. It's still not risky, I'm just annoyed. Yeah, I'm fine. Stabity. Yeah, enemies aren't worth that much XP anymore. And I think almost everybody is level 11. What, it would be one or two left that are 10? Two. Because then it's like... more heals left on Kiwi. So that should be fine. Enemies are pretty far away from me right now. Let's see, I've got those two, that one, and those two, and that's all of them, right? Yeah. So as long as I don't wake all of them up at once, I'm fine. So I think I'm gonna go journeying through the forest. And wake up the bottom two. What is it, Isun? I've got a whiny kitty. Ugh. Can I get a ranger to the forest? It's annoying. Are you two actually moving toward me, or are you just rumbaing? I think you're just rumbaing. Sarah can be my bait, which is only half ice one, or freeze one, sorry. Your range is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm fine.
Let's boost. What is it, Isu? I wish I knew I was wrong, so then I can hug you with it. Oh. Kitties everywhere. Run up and freeze. Yep. That's fine. Bowie's basic. And so, Birdmen, their ideal situation is fighting mages. And the reason why is that Birdmen always have more hit points than normal. Basically, the only thing they've got going for them is mages. Because they're pretty terrible in every other way. Up. Decent level up. I'm okay with this. Uh, I can't quite reach Bowie, and it's not worth wasting a heal two. The closer you to death, eight hit points. The ooze will attack Sarah, which is what I would prefer. Sarah's leveled up. Okay, that's good. Ooh, nice hit. Good job, Slade. Yes, you know, if you have attention, my lap is open and free, and you have enough space and everything. Oh, you might be able to just kill him. That would be really nice. Okay, because I'm leveled up. Okay. Same level up. Okay. Yes, sir. Tired of you burning like that, okay? Oh. He's a wiggly boy. Okay. So. Uh, let's see. What do I have coming up on plate next? Those three are the only ones left, and I can probably lure out the vampire bat faster. It's worth doing a heal one. Okay, I've got two more heals left. Or one more heal two. Heal two doesn't really heal any more hit points. Uh, it's just range. So... It's only really useful for emergencies in my mind. All right. Yep, boost is expiring. That's fine. All right. You are six plus one, two, three, four, five, six plus one plus two. You can hit out to there. Okay, I can move significantly closer without. Let's go ahead and count squares. I know this is riveting. Two, three, four, five, six. You can hit Sarah with a spell. Okay, that's good to know.
because I want them to hit Bowie. This is probably less damage than the normal attack on Bowie, to be honest. For nine, now I can just stab you to death with arrows. Actually, hold on. Your movement's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, that's things. Because I didn't use the XP. That's what I was expecting to have happen. That's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Now it's worth actually heal toing. So the reason why I didn't want to heal two before is that I didn't know who was going to be hurt. And in this case, this is probably going to be the last spell he will cast this battle anyway. So I'm not too concerned. Going after the witch. I've got my reasons. Which is probably resistant to freeze, but let's find out. I don't think it is actually now that I think about it. Yep, it is. Okay, down to one. And that's fine. MP2, attack one, defense one, agility one. Okay. Might as well finish off the witch before it gets another attack. So the reason why I went after the witch is because it was going to be easier for me to kill. I am a bit concerned about the vampire bat, but there's not much I can do about that. And I was correct in my theory. The spell is worse. Are you going to hit? Yes. Now you're level 12. Plus one to all things useful. And this should kill it. Or not, because... Is Kazin's attack really that much lower? Attack 26, attack 23. Yes, it really is that much lower. Also, Slade can't reach. Dang it. What are you doing, cat? Attack 20. Uh, that would be... Let's try it. Funk. Three! Four! Okay, good. That's fine. Gain 36 XP. And now, that goblin's the only one left. Half of its hit points. And I should be able to finish that off with pretty much anybody. That's right, standing on strong terrain. Now this should be able to finish it off. Or dodges, because the game likes trolling me. Alright, Slade, you get to finish it off, which is good, because, um, well, you need the XP. You need now level 12? No. And that is that battle. Great. How am I doing? 11, 11, 11. So Jaha is starting to break out from the rest of the team because Jaha now has boost. Boost will allow Jaha to level up a lot faster than the rest of my party because he's going to be casting a cheap spell every turn that will give him more XP than healing. Huh? He still revived himself. Interesting. I always wondered if that was based off of the class. Anyway. Let us go to Riddle and pick up our new party member, and that's where I will stop. Hmm? You're a spy from the new town, aren't you? You're back again! Mayor! Mayor! Oh, Riddle. Oh, he looked at the paper. Historian Passeran. Everything is locked. very deep well. By the way, I'm not looking up these mithril locations, I'm actually going off of memory. 
Pastorine, Kesseran. So Pastorine and Kesseran. They're important NPCs, relatively. Boom, 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 boom. Who are you? Who are you? My group of soldiers were just here. Soldiers must be winning beyond the gate. Be careful! You're so persistent. What do you want? You suddenly appear in Paramecia and build a castle? I don't know who you are, but all big cities like war. I've never seen such impolite and violent guests. He's right. You came here to capture Paramecia. We'll never obey you. Go away. You talk too much. Hey, Bowie, why don't you say something? Well, I'm a uh, mostly silent protagonist. Thank you, I think I understand how you feel, but listen to me! Why? I'm not from Grancia, I just visited there. You think they came to Paramecia to conquer it? Well, you're wrong. They were forced to leave their island due to a disaster. They're good people, you don't have to be so paranoid! Properly paranoid in my mind. Who are you? I'm Peter, I'm a phoenix that lives on Mount Volcano. Uh, actually, the legendary bird? Oh, for legendary. It's a running thing with Peter. Um, however, in this case, he's a legendary tortoise. Be funny if Wreck had actually edited all of the references to Phoenix to tortoise. Oh, they're friends of yours. My, my. Of course, we of Ribble will become allies of Grand Seal. That's all it takes. Have a Phoenix slap you around a bit with a large trout. I promise you that when we welcome you, we will welcome you when you visit again. All right. Now there's somebody wandering around. Hassan. Hassan's a port to the south. It was once very prosperous, but now it's desolate. Hassan, jump. Alright, where are you, May? My dear husband never returned from the cave. The cave was somehow blocked. How can I explain this to my son? Also, something important later. It's dark inside the place. Our ancestors came from Rune, a southern island long ago. Rune is the uh, location of Shining Force 1, for reference. Oh, wow, I'm already over an hour. That's Peter's hometown? Going up Mount Volcano is annoying in my mind. Pastor and I are pupils of Mr. Road from Hassan. Hint, hint. Uh, I, I know where the ruins are. You just won't let me in. Because I don't have the correct item. Spend another day searching for it. I'll never give up! Caravan, even if I have to travel all over the continent. I need the Achilles sword to defeat the giant Taros at the shrine. All useful things. But Mr. Rouge is smarter than him. No, I'm actually looking for a party member here. Huh? Well, that's a glitch, that's for sure. So that's what Peter looks like promoted. Peter looks freaking awesome promoted, but, um... This is May. May joins your party. All right, what class is May? Rick, how did you troll me this time? God damn it, it's another archer! Ah! How the hell am I dealing with four damn archers? I mean, May is usually the one that's, um, so, Chester's class, Ranger, is actually what May usually is. And it's actually normal to have wooden arrows at this point, so I've kind of leveled things off. And May's only one level lower than the rest of the party, that's not too bad, or than the lowest level of the party. Uh, I might as well check the shop first before I do anything else. They're so selfish. My husband's gone to the east at work, but what about me? Yeah, let's just say that this game is not so great on the equality front, and leave it at that. Alright, weapons. You are not weapons. Also, healing drops are now available. I think this is pretty close to the maximum item spread that you get in the game. I think there's one more. Yep. Wooden arrows are now available for sale. But uh, I'm going to replace Sarah's dagger. Oh. Uh. That's not what I wanted to do, 
but okay. Give right honey to Peter. Peter is my inventory storage for an extended period of time in this game. No, I don't need two daggers. Or am I going to need two daggers? I don't know. Is there another thief in this game? Okay, I haven't found anything else yet. Ugh. Not the volcano! Go east and then north along the river. A cave is there. But I don't recommend you enter such a terrible place. We call it the Cave of Darkness. You can't see anything inside. Hint, hint, that's where the next battle's at. The cave's the only way to get to Mount Volcano. Anyway. Um, I can't find it. The hidden door to the ancient ruins must be near this tree. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save and stop here. It's been an hour after all. I think the previous video has finally finished uploading. And, yep, I was about to say, um, Peter's not dead because Peter's a guest. Oh, this is surreal. I'm just looking at the two Peters right next to each other. Alright, let's go ahead and make my save state. Save state is save six. Helps if I can spell save... Six. All right, and this is where I will leave off for the weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this. Just want to see the two Peters side by side. It's real. Anyway, I will talk to you hopefully in less than three years again. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's just been a very long three years. See you next time, Internet.